to everybody ray brem here i am pumped i'm in my psychedelic i probably look like fuzz the old-fashioned tv fuzz on your screen here <laughs> looks like lint yeah a <laughs> lot of lint this is a white sweater that i just walked through a duct vent with <laughs> and i am with james archer of virtual launch right they say you should always put the dot com at the end so that people just you can't really hear assume that. anymore you can't really assume anymore and it also says oh that's a website yeah virtual launch team.com that's why uh, i think it was jim reynolds or somebody always insists when he's on podcasts and everything he says the full what URL is the name of his company uh -huh. because then people remember it better. Cool. So virtual anyway, so we're going to talk about a couple things today and this is a simulcast. So mm -hmm. James is using it. I'm using it, but it's a great, we were having a great conversation okay. and we said, we got to record this thing. We got to get this out there. We're yeah. talking about, um, and for the people on my side, I am with my friend and best-selling author, Ray Brim. All right. He is the author coach. He's uh, the multi-best-selling author. He's the one that helped me get uh, the best-selling status on my book and for lots of other people. So we're going to do a, a little uh, exchange here today because we were talking with each other, which we do a couple times a week, I think. And um, we're talking about how these two things align so well. So... I'm going to talk about uh, the traditional launch process and how to get your product or service or course launched and the three stages that go into that. But you can actually bypass one of those stages uh, and get things happening so much faster by using a book launch or using your book uh, in that. So I'm not the expert at that. Ray is going to tell us and share with us how to use your book uh, to kind of by bypass the second stage of the launch. So who do, who goes first? Yeah, the chicken or the egg. I, from my side, it's it's also interesting because to do what I think you should do, and we're going to talk about it here in a second, you need the tech, you need the help. And I, I see this, I've, I'm seeing three to four times a day in a lot of my mastermind groups and so forth that people are like, I can't get this done or my VA bailed and how do I get the tech right. set up? And it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, if you just get the right people to do it and you shouldn't be the one to do it. In most cases, you shouldn't be the one to do it. And I get yelled at from my coach all the time for Why are you dabbling in the now? tech. Right. Yes. So I'm gonna lower this, uh, I'm going to lower this up just a tiny bit here so that I can actually see you while people can see my eyes. Speaking of tech, get the video, right? Now yeah. that's at the right level. That looks good. Yeah. Um, I think you should go for So, Let's start okay. from this standpoint is everybody I know that's probably watching this either has or wants to have some kind of online business mm -hmm. and there's a million ways to start working on it and get stuck. And we want to just talk about what virtual launch team has come up with, what you have come up with, which is just this, this launch business launch success path. Right. I don't know all this, the acronyms uh, you got it set up, but why don't you show us that? And then we'll talk about how, you know, you can exponentially okay. uh, speed that prop, stage two of that up with a book. So let's go. What I'm, what I wanted, my goal is to reduce people's overwhelm. All right. To make things go hap, um, a lot faster. Anybody that wants this launch life, make it go faster and get it done right. Uh, as right as possible the first time. All right. This all started with uh, Tim Ferriss, you know, the four hour work week guy right? Um, basically, his whole premise was, uh, it's such a brilliant title, right? The four hour work week. Fundamentally, it's all about just outsourcing, uh, outsourcing your work to get some stuff done. But, um, you know, he promises that you can uh, escape the nine to five, what's his tag, escape the nine to five. Um, uh, let's see. And uh, something and join the new rich uh, work from wherever you want escape the nine-to-five work from wherever you want and join the new rich what a great tagline right but fundamentally it's all about outsourcing and what we see is that people who try to outsource they end up hiring a VA that really doesn't know anything about launch process and uh, it fails so let me uh, 
change my change my background here and I'll just talk about the the traditional launch process, the launch path, and then uh, we're going to segue into how uh, Ray's method can help you bypass one stage of this whole process. All right. So, any questions, Ray? Let me just jump in. Jump right in. I, All right. So I love the tech behind yes. you, the, green, the the white green screen, whiteboard, all yeah. that. Uh, I should raise that camera back up so that you could see your launch path. All right. But, um, okay. At Virtual Launch Team, we break the launch process up into three stages. All right. The first stage is going to be all about building traffic and creating your list. You have to have the right list and they have to be engaged, obviously. The bigger your list, then the better chance you have ultimately down here in this stage, the last stage of uh, selling your course or your membership to that list, right? Okay. Stage one, build your list. Now, what we teach here is that the second stage is, uh, has a very, very important purpose. If you're building your list, it's costing you something. It's either costing you dollars in the form of your ad spend on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, or it's costing your time while you go in and you cruise all of the free Facebook groups to try and attract your leads. So it's either costing you money or time, right? There are no free uh, leads to come into your list. But do you agree with that part? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're feeling it, right? <laughs> okay, now then traditionally, in a normal launch process, without a book, if we don't have a book, the traditional launch process is then, we need to go into stage two, which is where we nurture our list, and then we sell them our first product. Now this is not our final course and membership. This is not the big ticket item. This is just the first thing that we can sell somebody. In this nurture process, we have to uh, prove our authority, tell them where we learned our stuff. This might be our hero's journey, um, you know, the struggle that we overcame. Uh, it's also some testimonials. It's also, uh, quite a bit of the information that proves to people that we know what we're talking about, right? And then we sell our first product. And the purpose of this first product uh, in our teaching is to give you some revenue to offset this ad spend or give you something to pay for the time that you are spending attracting new customers. If you can do this, if you can generate some revenue in this stage, then you can really crank up your list building, right? Imagine, okay, uh, if, if you can get on average $10 for every $10 of ad spend, then there's no reason why you wouldn't spend, say, $1,000 a day in ad spend because you know you're going to get $1,000 back. Imagine how quickly you can build your list if you could spend $365,000 on advertising next year and you didn't even feel it, right? Then you would have an enormous list that you can put your whole, uh, your whole launch campaign into, and this can be either a PLF style launch or a webinar, webinar launch or whatever you want uh, to sell your final course or membership. Now, what we promised here, the reason Ray and I are talking about this is there is an amazing idea that, uh, that can let you fundamentally not eliminate this second stage, but, but perform this second stage, this nurture and first product stage as part of your first stage. So, Ray, how could somebody do that? Hmm. hmm. Well, buy a book, of course. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. It's, well, let me I'm going to tell you. Let me interject, okay? So one of the things we're doing in this list building, uh, the steps that we take to, to do this list is we create a squeeze page or a landing page, and then we offer somebody a lead magnet, some, some piece that we have created 
in exchange for them to trade their email address to give us, they give us the email address, we give them our something of value, right? What could possibly be a better lead magnet than your own book? Right. And it's, it's kind of like if you're selling something, the more value, the more sales you're going to get, the more, you know, more value you're giving for the dollar, the more sales you're going to get. If, even if it's free, the same thing, it's like, Hey, I'm going to give you a one page, uh, cheat sheet. That's cool. People want it. What if I give you a copy of my best selling book? About how oh. to be a best selling author. <laughs> In this case, that's true. And, uh, you know, so, Oh, I can get the book and I can get it. Now you, there's ways you can do it. You can do free plus shipping. There's, but let's just say to keep it simple, you just give away a digital version of your best selling book. They go check Amazon and it's five, six, nine bucks or whatever for the Kindle version. And you're giving it to them for free. Who's not, you know, I'll take it. And we can do things like, you know, a book funnel. And a lot of people don't know what that is, but let's just, you know, if you come over here, you can see my screen, right, James? Yeah. All right. So, you know, a book funnel is basically some entry point here. And this is like, okay, hey, get a free copy of my book. So somebody's coming in, we're maybe running an ad, running to a list. And then we do something, the standard book funnel might have something here. It's like, hey, get the audio book and the, in fact, in my case with this book I'm, I'm showing you, I give them the audio book and a mini course for like, uh, what is it, 27 or $37, something like that. And now you've probably just paid for your ads. But then the next thing is, hey, you know what? Um, and then what do we want them to do? If you're a coach, we might want them to schedule a coaching session here. Mm -hmm. If you have a course, it's like, Hey, why don't you check out my course while you're here? You know, check out, you know, I've got these, these things to offer you. And then it's like, Oh, Oh, you didn't want that. Well, how about if I give it to you in three payments or something? So a book funnel is just a way to get people to uh, consume your book and then right. pay for ads, get them to into your business now and the funnel. So I, a lot of times I lead people into, so some of my clients, I lead them into, uh, a consulting calendar funnel and you do a 30 minute consult and then you, you sell them on your consulting package or this is a little course here or uh, you know, it could be anything. So yes. that's There's what a book funnel stuff, is. All this funnel stuff, right? Um, yeah. We'll talk about the outsourcing of that here after this. Right. But the, one of the, one of the main things, Ray, I think the key point that, that you can share with people is that, um, like with my book, okay, I haven't made this huge profit with my with by by royalties off my book. But that book has been so critical to uh, the success of my underlying business, which is Sharelingo, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that so that's one misconception. It's like okay, well, I don't, I, you know, I'm going to get a book, and I it, it, I would say I don't know, seventy five percent of new authors are thinking that's going to be the thing that gives them passive income, and I'm doing some data research and then now it's very minimal, you know, the, the, there's 4 million books and the, the, in, on Amazon and only the top three or 4,000 actually make any real money a month. And I, I'm, I'll dig up the data on that, but those, those you are, you know, o over $500 a month is only the top 3000 books. But you have a course on book as a business, right? Um, right. And, and that's the premise of that is using your book to create your larger business. Your right, and so we've got I've got courses on book funnels and and which we just we just saw uh, how to monetize that you know so for this and and and, and then the other thing is oh my gosh but it's going to take me a long time to write a book and that's why I wrote this book it's specifically for entrepreneurs the seven book writing hacks for entrepreneurs I take some of the top seven things that most entrepreneurs have. And right. we make hacks out of them and said, let's take those and build out a business. And we use what's called, you, it's kind of like your success path. We use a transformation ladder and we map out and it doesn't take long, half hour, um, mm -hmm. what the transformation is going to be. Somebody reading your book, we organize that way. And then we pull content that you probably already have and put it into a book. And in fact, then you, once you've mastered that, you can also, if you're starting from scratch, like I did with this book. I created the course mm -hmm. 
And as I recorded the course, that became the book. And so we built it all at once. And that's that. So you recorded a video, the training for the course, and then transcribed that. And that became the basis of your printed book. Right. So I basically took a transformation ladder and said, here's what I want people to get from my book. I want them to get from no book to book authority, all that great stuff that comes with having a book. And I want them to get it there quickly. And I mapped it out, put it in slides, recorded that as a training, as a master class, took the recordings, sent them to Rev, got the transcripts back. Rev.com is Rev. a com, transcription okay. service. Right. So you can send them a, a video or an audio and it comes back as text, as a document. Right. And then, so um, took the transcripts, read through it, did my own read through, sent it to an editor, done. Now I've got a book. I've also got a class. Oh, and by the way, the recordings, the audio, I've also got a podcast. I've also got an audio book. So I created all this content with one pass and we talk about how to do that in here too. And um, and I'm not selling this book, by the way. I'm just telling you that this is how it, it's done. And I finally said, I got to show this process to other people because it works. Because then you, you're, instead of saying, hey, I got this little ebook on, you know, whatever. It's like, hey, I got this best-selling book for you for free. It's 10 bucks on Amazon. It's yours for free for right now. And you get them into your world. Let me, and let me talk some more. Okay, so let me, uh, let me, um, tell people why this is so valuable in the launch process, okay? Um, in stage two, it's all about creating your authority, sharing your story, right? Uh, and informing people that you know how they feel and, and that you have a solution for them, right? That's part of the nurture process. And then making a little bit of revenue to cover your ad spend, right? So think about this. If we have a book and the book is our, um, our lead magnet, we don't have to do this second step really at all because the book is going to build our authority. The book is also going to tell how we came up with this, uh, you know, our hero's journey or whatever. And the book is uh, going to be maybe not the book itself, but uh uh, it's not that the book itself is going to make you a whole bunch of dollars in royalties, but but that little course that you mentioned, uh, your $39 course or whatever it was, um, that's going to easily pay for your ad spend, right? And it's a whole new way of thinking because then you you can actually modularize a lot of your your content um, because at, when I in this book funnel. It's like, hey, get the book, free plus shipping. You want the audio book and the masterclass for this? That's $37. You want, you want to be a bestseller? I've got a course for that. It's this much. And that's, you know, you're giving people logical next steps. And they can, it's easy to digest each piece of that. But the more important thing is nobody's going to download this book unless they want to write a book, right? So that means the people that get on my list from downloading this, they are, very yes. that's, focused customers. They're not just looking loose opting in to get something. They, they're, if they're going to download this, they, they have some interest in writing a book at some point. Well, that's, that's the other thing that we teach, all right, is that it, if you have a, a list of 100,000 people, but there's only you know, 30 people that are your real avatar, then what good is it, right? You're just wasting uh, your emails, all right? Uh, but as soon as they buy anything from you, they have proven that they are uh, a warm lead that is very, very open to your message and your teaching and that they need what, it is, what you have to offer, right? So when it comes down to uh, selling your main product, somebody who has purchased anything from you uh, is a really good candidate for that product. And by the way, so I'll, I'll make this point. It's, you know, you are the master of what's in here. So you, you've got the knowledge you're going to share. That's where you should be focusing your time. Right. Not on tech and launch calendars and all that. That's, that's why people hire me to do book launches. That's why people hire you to do their business launches. And, you know, as the entrepreneur, you need to focus on what you know best. And that's why I love the, you know, having virtual launch team available to do those tech tasks bounce coaching ideas off help with the launch schedule because 
well, heck, I do the same thing with books for people, but it's, it makes it, it just takes right. a lot of the stress off and you can focus on what you do best. So what, yeah. So uh, thank you for that plug. Uh, <laughs> so I'll tell people uh, basically what virtual launch team does, right? Um, as I was creating uh, my core business is, is uh, called the share lingo project. And I help uh, English and Spanish speakers connect and practice together. And Ray helped me write the book about that. Um, and so as I was putting that together, I was overwhelmed with this process of uh, from Facebook ads to a landing page, to a product, to a lead magnet, and then uh, fleshing out the whole membership and just a thousand things that I was supposed to be putting into place. So what I did is I followed, uh, you know, that Tim Ferriss advice of trying to outsource. And uh, I tried a few VAs, virtual assistants, and what I found was they really, they really didn't know what they were doing. The vast majority of uh, a true virtual assistant are people who know how to manage your calendar or you know clean up your uh, your Dropbox or something like that. They don't know launch and they don't know tech. Uh, if they did understand all of that technology that's involved with um, creating a launch and a funnel sequence, then that's what they're going to be doing for a living, not being a VA. That should make sense. So eventually I found a team of people that could help me with the different parts, the, the graphics, the layout, the lead magnets, um, and then also uh, putting together these funnels and email sequences, the checkout pages, and then ultimately my complete membership to deliver the training I wanted to deliver about how to learn English and Spanish. Um, now I did become, over those two years, I did uh, several courses that Ray and I both did, several courses, uh, Jeff Walker's course and Stu McLaren's course and all of these courses. Um, so I learned a lot about how to do this stuff, but that still didn't mean that I wanted to spend the hours creating emails and sequences and landing pages and uh, and frankly, uh, uh, the people on my team are much better graphic designers than I am, right? Uh, and so as ShareLingo has settled into place and kind of started running on its own a bit more, uh, I wanted to give more hours to my team of people. And so we started helping other people put together all this launch stuff uh, and that's how virtual launch team was born. I took, uh, you know, the concept of a virtual assistant, but I specialized in the launch team aspect of that. So we, we're, we can do any part of, of this whole thing from copywriting to setting up your DNS and your C name records all the way to setting up, uh, you know, any of your landing pages and squeeze pages and all that stuff. But we are specifically working on launch, it's online launch, whether that's Jeff Walker launch or a tribe launch or a book launch or whatever. So the whole idea of this is to reduce people's overwhelm. So many people come into this launch uh, environment. You and I can, we have talked about this so many times, Ray. Okay, we, when we were newbies a couple years ago, this, this tech stuff, was just like, oh my God, there's so much to do, right? So we've, we've both been through this process. Um, and this is uh, a solution to where people who are new to this, who either need coaching or, or need the, the manpower to create funnels and emails, can just basically make one phone call, they don't have to, or, or message, they don't have to contact five different VAs on Fiverr and hope that one of them knows something about Kajabi or Kartra or ClickFunnels or anything like that. The other thing I'll say is the best person, the, the person who this is works the best for is newbies and oldbies. Oldbies. Because <laughs> newbies for sure, because this stuff's so wrong. It's probably, I would guess 80, 90% of people that come through the world we've come through get stopped in their tracks on the tech and just, and just never launch anything. Or, or well, and, not just but, the tech, but also the concept of launch. Well, right. Like, trying to keep it all organized in your head and like, well, I, how many emails do I need? What, what do I need? But if you're, you, I can guarantee you anybody that's launched 
one to a hundred times needs this too because they know how complicated this all is and they probably done it themselves the first few times and they, that's great they made it through there but you gotta take it easier on yourself and focus on the things like doing facebook lives and things where you're connecting with your audience let somebody else build it and that's that's what i yeah. love about it is it's it's for everybody um I, so coming back to the beginning you know it, it's either money or time right uh, and so if you have done it, and there's only of, one of those you can recoup. That's right. Yes. And yeah. that's the money. So, you know, yeah. you'll never get that time back trying to figure all this out and build it all. And, you know, even just, I was looking at a summit funnel the other day and I'm like, Oh, Oh, that's how many, how many steps, how many assets in a summit, summit funnel? I, I, you know, it was Rocky Frank Ernst guy and it, he showed all his kind of funnels he's been working on. The summit funnel had the most assets uh -huh. and you know, me thinking, well, that can't be that difficult to do. But when you looked at all the assets, you're like, Oh my God, you know, that's going to take me months to build out or I can just hire somebody to do it and get it out there and have a list and recoup the money right away by actually getting it launched. And yes. so that's, 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 that's the, the reason that's behind the service it. that we want to provide is the solution where uh, whether it's the coaching part, like uh, help me identify my avatar. Uh, we help with that early stage kind of conceptual coaching thing, consulting uh, over to, Hey, you know, here's my 15 emails. Can you put them in and sequence them to go out, you know, every, uh, every 23 hours, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, we can do that cool so, okay um thank you for this opportunity yep. to uh inform people what we do and to tell people uh about the book side of this because i i'm so excited about the idea of this specialty case right if you are an author and frankly if you're an entrepreneur i can't imagine why you would not want to be an author um i can't see any good reason not to write a book and and you, you can vouch for it. I mean, once I don't let anybody tell you, it's going to, you, you need to take two years to do it. Now you might be creating some lifelong flagship book later. That's great, but you need a book now. And mainly one for authority two to get your message across three. The reason I'm create everything at once now is because some people like to read. Some people like to watch video and or their trainings. Some people like the audio book and the way in the car to way to work or whatever. People are going to listen, and I, depending on my mood, I, I use different uh, modalities to, to, to consume content, but you need one that's something people can do right now while you're sleeping, and that's what the book is. And by the way, like, I've got a funnel for this, and I, I you know, the 30 cents, but if you go to bookflix.tv, you can rent all my courses and the other courses from other content creators for a small monthly fee, so that's... Yeah, that's an investment, like, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's like under 30 bucks or something like that. Or right. Under, under 50 bucks. At the time of this recording, who knows what it'll be. If you're watching this in the future, uh, it's whatever it is. It's still a great, uh, yeah. uh, you know, unbelievable because you only need to get what you need and then you can yes. stop the renting. Amazing. Right. Uh, so the idea with, with this book is, uh, and that, and, the, and the, it benefits us as creators too, because you've got some, you've got some content that's going in there. As of now, it's coming, but it's probably by the time people watch this, it's probably going to be there. But as creators, it helps us get in front of a lot more people too. And then we, th those are the people that we you know, want to take the next step with us and maybe do some one-on-one -on -one work or group work. They've seen us enough, and it hadn't, didn't cost an arm and a leg to actually get exposure to our else, teaching methods. Uh, if somebody else wants to contribute to the book biz thing, um, do you want to talk about that or just have them contact you? Yeah. I mean, you can go to, so if you go to bookflix.tv, you can enroll in bookflix. You can rent. It's a, just a monthly access to all the courses on there. It's like Netflix for books. It's Netflix for books. So how to publish, how to launch, how to make it a bestseller, how to do long-term launching, how to do book funnels, all that kind of stuff's there. Uh, this course is there. This book is inside the course too. So you can download that. Um, but if you're, if you've got a course that fits, uh, you know, and really it's, we're talking about digital entrepreneurs, marketing books, then you can go to, there's a link at the very bottom that basically says uh, creators and you can click on that and 
submit your what your course would be and we can put it into book flicks we can make you an affiliate all that kind of stuff so um and really everybody who's a subscriber who, who's doing a book uh almost you know 90 percent are probably candidates to be affiliates as well you can apply for be affiliate then when you send people you, you send a few people to bookflix.tv yourself and your your enrollment is free from then on so um you know, by getting your, cause it's a, a residual affiliate income. So anyway, I get excited about it, but just start from where you are and go there, check out. There's a couple courses like this. This one's a great one um, to get you started getting your book done. And yeah, you know what? Your first book doesn't have to be the flagship book. It will be for a while. It wasn't, right? No, it wasn't. And then it, but and then it was, but look at it you was, now. Yeah. It, you're okay. So uh, I created a lead magnet book was my second book that became my flagship book because it took off. And if I had planned it to be a flagship book, it probably wouldn't have been as good. It would have taken longer to get out, but because I said, I want this out and I want to get it launched. Uh, I actually made it, I made it quick and easy to follow and people loved it. This, this is so important. All right. Get something out there. Uh, you know, I, I love Ray's own story. All right. Cause he pushed through and, and look at you now. You are the, the guru uh, at, at there about how, he, you know, it's not, it's not, there are thousands of people that will tell other people about um, what should be in a book or how to write a book or the, the lay, you know, all that stuff. But what, what I like about you is that you're telling people the realities and, uh, you know, how to monetize it, how to get it recreated quickly, how to monetize it, how to get it up there. And also that you understand, you know, the Amazon formulas and all that stuff that I, that's another thing. Okay. Ray was talking about saving time, saving your time uh, with this uh, laying out your own funnels and stuff. I think it's the same as like when it's time to launch your book um, there, you know, uh, one of the things Ray can do for you is help you get it into the right categories on Amazon or help you uh, understand how Amazon categories work and all that stuff. And the reason that's so valuable is again, that's, saving you your time right instead of figuring it out yourself i'm rambling i feel like i'm rambling but let's we, we can wrap it up but it's it's you know time is far more important than money uh money can be recouped right speed everything up a, a book is the quickest way to authority to get that second stage of your launch going to get nurture and can be your first product and all that in the virtual launch team path and get some help getting everything built. Don't fudge, futz around with a WordPress site or any of this other stuff. Get a real site going with it. You don't have a real site nowadays if you don't have a funnel and in some way that's all kind of connected. Get that built right away and draw the line in the sand and start collecting leads and getting people on your reading list. And even if you're just trying to launch books, you want that list for people to, to read the next book. If you're just doing, you know, a coaching, you want people in your funnel to talk to you about coaching. And, you know, the other thing is you never know. I've had people on my list that never said a word to me. And then all of a sudden they saw the right thing from me. And so you need to build that email list and you launching a book and launching a product is are really the best ways to build a list. So absolutely. All right. So if you want okay. to, to wrap this up, if you want that uh, four hour work week, uh, Tim Ferriss lifestyle. All right. You're probably going to be online to do that. And you need to delegate all those tasks in order to create some sort of online launch for yourself. All right. Okay. It certainly worked for okay. Tim Ferriss, didn't it? That's, that's right. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We will talk to you soon. Okay. Ciao for now.